Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss about design of mod 5 synchronous subcounter using JK flip-flops. Design means we have to develop the circuit diagram. To develop the circuit diagram, we have to develop the flip-flop input equations. These flip-flop input equations are obtained from state table. So to develop the state table, first we should develop the state diagram. State diagram means this is the graphical representation of the number of states in the sequential manner. Okay. So to understand this concept, first let us start with the definition counter. What is meant by counter? Counter means it is a permanent memory device with a predetermined sequence of states. Okay. That means the sequence of states should be stored in a memory device called as a counter. The total number of sequence of states should be represented by the mod value. So here the mod value is 5. Mod means modulus that indicates the total number of states in a count sequence. Here 5 means 0 to 4 only we should take. Out of these 5 states, the largest state is 4. 4 in binary form as 100. 0, 0. So to store this state value, it requires 3 flip-flops. These 3 flip-flops are labeled as A, B, C and the type of flip-flop is JK flip-flop. The type of the counter is up counter. Up counter means the number of states should be taken in an ascending order. That means 0 goes to 1, after 1 it goes to 2, after 2 it goes to 3, 3 goes to 4, after 4 it goes to 0, again the sequence repeats, again 0 goes to 1, next to 2 like this. Okay, This is the up counter sequence. This up counter sequence should be represented in a graphical manner is called as a state diagram. Okay, the starting state should be 0, next 1, 2, 3, 4. After 4, it goes to 0. Now, we should discuss about the synchronous counter. Synchronous counter means the counter itself is having group of flip-flops are interconnected each other. For all these flip-flops can be applied clockwise simultaneously. That type of counter circuit is called as a synchronous counter. Now, let us move to the design part. So, to design the circuit diagram, we have to develop the state table. So, based on the state diagram. So, I have redrawn the state diagram with the binary values instead of state values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 means 0, 0, 0, 3 bits are required 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Next, based on the state diagram, we should develop the state table. In this state table, we have different columns. The first one is count, the second one is present state, next state, flip flop inputs. Count means it provides the total number of states in a counter. So here the value is mod 5, so 0 to 4, the total number of states in this counter, present state. In this present state, it requires three flip-flops outputs, QA, QB, QC. Next state. Next state means after applying the clock pulse, we will get the next state values as QA star, QB star, and QC star. From these two values, present state and the next state, we should find the flip-flop input values to find the flip-flop input equations using k-maps. Okay, now let us take the total number of states 0 to 4. 0 to 4 should be written in binary form as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 0, 0 in present state. For 0, the next state is 1. So 1 means 0, 0, 1. For 1, the next state is 0, 1, 0. For 2, it is 3. For 3, it is 4. For 4, Again, the sequence repeats 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. The remaining three states, 5, 6, 7. Why I am taking these three, five states? Because here we are using three bits. So with these three bits, the total number of binary combinations we have to use are eight combinations because the total number of states should be 2 power 3. 2 power 3 equal to 8. Out of these eight states, only we are using to 4 only. The remaining states are 5, 6, 7 are unused states. Okay. So, these unused states are taken as don't case for next state values and flip-flop input values. So, to find the flip-flop input values, depending on the present state and next state, we should use the JK flip-flop excitation table. This is the JK flip-flop excitation table. In this, the inputs are present state and next state. Q and Q star, this is the generalized form. So here two inputs. So the binary combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And the outputs are flip-flop inputs. Flip-flop inputs are J, K. Okay. Therefore, 
for zero zero combination the excitation values are zero don't care zero one one don't care one zero don't care one 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 don't care zero so with the help of this excitation table we should fill all these values here three type of flip flops we are using a b c therefore j a k a j b k b j c k c these are flip flop inputs now we should fill the values j a k a j a k a means based on the q a and q a star we should write the j a k a values this is 0 0 that means 0 don't give similarly 0 0 again 0 don't give in the same way we should fill all the combinations 0 0 again 0 don't give next 0 1 1 0 1 means 1 don't give for 1 0 its value is don't give 1 for the remaining unused states all the values are don't gives only so these are the j a k a values similarly j b k b j c k c we have to write so to write the j b k b we have to see q b value and q b star value 0 0 0 don't care 0 1 1 don't care 1 1 don't care 0 1 0 don't care 1 0 0 0 don't care similarly j c k c j c k c means okay this column and this column so, 1 don't care don't care 1 like this we will get the values okay and the remaining all values are don't cares only okay? this is the state table so from this state table we have to find the flip-flop input equations to develop the circuit diagram use k maps to get the simplified flip-flop input equations okay? now you can see this is the three variable k map first i am doing for j a j a means we have to take the j a column we should consider once and don't care so to write the sop form equation okay so here these minimum boxes values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 according to minimum number boxes we have to fill the values okay 1 means its value is 3 so three minimum box filled with one next the remaining four five six seven boxes are filled with all don't cares now make into group so these two are adjacent each other okay one don't care its equivalent value is j a equal to q b q c because this group lies in both rows and only one column in these two rows means q a is eliminated one one means q b and q c normal form okay so it requires one and gate in the same way we should find the equations for k a j p k b j c k c okay you can see here this is k a value to find the k a when you observe all the values are either don't care or one okay so one only in the minimum number four okay this is four next all the remaining are don't cares so when we group all these as eight ones group its value should be 1 only because this group lies in both rows and four columns. So, all the variables should be eliminated. That's why its value is k equal to 1. Okay. Similarly, jb. For jb, only we should consider 1 and don't cares. These don't cares. Okay. So, based on this, we can make the four ones group. So, this group lies in both rows. That's why q is eliminated. In these two columns, for QB, 0, 1, that's why QB also eliminated. For QC, its value should be 1, 1. Its equivalent value is QC only. In the same way, for KB, JC, KC, we have to write the flip-flop input equations. Okay. For KB, QC. For JC, QB dash. For KC, 1. Because here also all the 1s. Okay. Next, we should develop the circuit diagram. These are the flip-flop input equations we found. So, based on these values, we should develop the modify synchronous up counter with the JK flip flops. So, here we are using three types of flip flops A, B, C. The inputs are JA, KA, outputs are QA, QA dash, next JB, KB, QB, QB dash, JC, KC, QC, QC dash. For JA, the equation is QB dot QC, that means the AND gate. So, this is AND gate. One input is QB, second input is QC. So we should connect from QB and QC. These are two inputs. Next, KA equal to 1. So KA equal to 1. Okay. JB equal to QC and also KB also QC. Therefore, JB and KB are shorted each other and these two are connected to QC. Next, JC equal to QA dash. Next, JC is connected to QA dash. 
Next, Kc equal to 1. His Kc is connected with Ka. Already Ka equal to 1. That's why its value also equal to 1. And also, for each and every flip-flop, we have to apply the clock pulse simultaneously because it is a synchronous counter. Okay, This is the clock pulse applied simultaneously to all the flip-flops through node point. Okay, This is the complete circuit diagram. Thank you.